Well, hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me. Um, I am going to forewarn you, I'm short of breath today. I'm feeling okay. Uh, and I want this to be my finishing Friday project. This is my Christmas tree skirt that I made last year during Jelly Roll day or whatever that was yeah jelly roll day last year and i want to get this finished i was supposed to have had it done by christmas but things came up i wanted to do more projects so right now what i'm doing i have my i have my skirt backed and i'm about to start quilting it what I am going to do is just your standard stitch in the ditch. Uh, you will see these are like in pie shapes. Let me get one out here where you can see it. Well, they're pretty big. You'll see how the line right here and then the line over here. What I'm going to do is stitch across the top around the circle and then I'm going to go individually. I may go on both sides of that line or I may just do a stitch in the ditch. I'm not real sure yet. I think on both sides would be really cute. But we'll just have to see what it's looking like. I may just do it on one and do it alternating. But right now what I've got to do is I am going to stitch a quarter of an inch away from the edge of my inside seam at the circle so that's going to be the opening at I have to roll it up a little bit here I have everything pinned real good so I'm making sure I have my dual foot there Now, it's probably going to make a loud noise because this is first stitch. And I'm going to go slow doing this. I think I'm going to go down both sides. Okay, so I think that's about a quarter of an inch. So what I'm going to do is raise my foot. And turn. Because that way I'll come back up on the other side of that and I can stitch straight across. And I want to make sure everything is nice and flat. I'm going to raise that foot up again. And what I'm doing is I am lining this seam right up here right along let me see if i could cover that yep i can't cover the light but i'm running it light right along the edge of the foot and this the foot i'm using is 37d And all I'm doing, I'm not pushing it. I'm letting the machine do the pull. I'm just keeping uh, everything kind of flat and making sure it doesn't go off sideways. So what I'm doing is actually a quarter of an inch, probably on each side. It probably would look better at an eighth of an inch, but I'm going to do the quarter of an inch. And that'll be fine because it's only going to be, it's going to be under the tree. You ain't going to be able to see it in no way. And I will tell you, I'm not using batting on this. I am using a non-pile fleece or non, yeah, I think that's what's called a non-peel, non-pile fleece. Only reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to save my batting for things that people are going to be under. And this was a thing of fleece that I had. You know, an extra piece of fleece that I have. And, you know, when I have extra stuff left over out of it, I will, um, I will save, you know, these pieces that aren't in the 
this. And you'll see I, I'm making sure everything is smooth. Even though I pinned it, you know, sometimes you can get wrinkles underneath the bottom of it. And, you know, on your uh, backing, you can get wrinkles in that. And I can kind of feel my backing. So this is going to be a very slow process, but I wanted to bring you guys along with me because this is part of my accountability. So you can see what I am finishing and that I am actually the one finishing this. And my goal is before I can start another project, I have to finish a project completely. So the next thing that I'll have that I'm trying to finish is um, my craftsman. I want to get my borders put on that craftsman so I can go on and get it sent to the long arm. So guys, I am probably going to speed y'all up on this. So you don't have to sit here and watch. You can watch me, but it'll be in fast motion for you. Because all I'm going to be doing is back and forth, back and forth, doing a lot of twisting. But I wanted to bring you along with me here to see the magic. I don't know how magical it's going to be, but it's going to be something. <laughs>
Okay, so I have it now back or quilted. So now I'm going to take it to my big table and trim it up so we can get the binding going. And we are back. Um, I've already got started on the binding for this. I do know one area I messed up. So I'm going to have to take it out. Um, but it's only because this is not straight edges. It's got all those corners on it. And I had gotten a phone call right in the midst of me making my binding. And I just started binding and talking. <laughs> so, I'm just bringing you guys along to, to see the binding happening. Uh, right now, what I am doing is sewing it to the back. I've got a two and a half inch strip sewing it to the back of the Christmas tree skirt. And I will tell y'all, this is some pretty heavy fabric. I mean, you know, when you, I needed to move my machine down some so I'd have more table space to sew on. But, um, I didn't so I have what space I have right now and that is okay but I have a lot of angles on this and I'm not real sure how to do binding on the angles um, I'm trying to do it just like I would on a corner you know like a, a square corner And I got lots of pins, so I'm poking myself a lot. Um, but I do know one angle that I do have to take out because it just didn't... I actually caught the back part under in the seam, and I'm going to have to redo that. Because what I try to do is... Um, I try to sew all the way to a quarter of an inch and then just fold it just like you would another any other binding on a corner. And the foot that I have on my machine, I can tell when I'm a quarter of an inch away from the edge because... I know where the edge is, and once my edge hits that point, on my foot, I know I can turn. See, like right now, I'm at that point, but what I'm going to do, I'm, re I'm raising my needle and my foot, but that is so I can... Because I've got to pull that. Because if I don't pull that out from under, I will be in the same situation I'm in with that other angle. And this is just get it gets a little tricky right here.
okay well you have seen me sew this on to the back first thing i've got to do is find the seam where it did not do right and right here i don't know how i did this but look how that happened i don't know Well, I know how it happened. I didn't pull the um, the bottom one. I didn't fold it back over. So this has been a fairly quick project. I'm going to say quick because I had the binding done before recording and I had a lot of stuff done prior to recording so I've only recorded about an hour actually and but this is it's been a good project to finish today I needed something easy and not thinking binding is not an easy thing for me because I'm still learning how to machine bind. But I think, I think I'm getting the gist of it. I hope I am. Okay, so now what I have to do is uh, roll this over and attach it on the other side and what i will do is sew it on from the other side so let me get let me find where i had my where i reattached it i think that was right there yes i want to start off right there where i brought the two seams together but I will need to trim my strings off because I don't want all these little strings hanging out. I'm going to turn it over so I can see everything here that I'm looking at. And it probably would have been better for me to have sewn it on the front side and folded it over to the back. But I didn't do that. So, I'm trying to learn which way is the best way for me to do this. And I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm not going to start it right there. I'm going to start it down just a little bit. And I am going to put it at a quarter of an quarter of an inch seam, which should catch everything also on the back. Oh, no, I'm not doing a quarter of an inch. Well, I might do a quarter of an inch just away from that edge. I want it closer. I want it like an eighth of an inch.
well, I have completed <clears throat> the Christmas tree skirt. I do have some trimming that needs to be done. Now I have a completed Christmas tree skirt. So guys, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I do respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Goodbye.